So yesterday I posted a video about um, talking about a Stanley Meyer patent and there was uh, talk of the wiper on uh, an, an inductor, a variable inductor. And um, I made the suggestion that perhaps I should, we should go ahead and, and make something to that effect because it doesn't look like a product that you can easily buy. So uh, yesterday afternoon I made this, uh, what we see here, um, I've got uh, carbon fibre tubes with nichrome wire on there and there's a separator of uh, a nylon fishing line which uh, I know it's not perfect but it helps keep them spaced apart um, that also gives a coil like this some sort of uh, internal capacity and one of um, one of the uh, descriptions of the charging chokes was that capacity between the windings um, and the only way to get that is with some sort of spacer so uh, this morning Ed Mitchell commented thank you Ed for uh, your input uh, that um, he's tried the wiper method by sanding off of copper and that it just uh, earthed to ground when the high voltage came through uh, so I can see what you're saying there. Uh, I don't know how we'll go, but I've made it now, so you know I've got to play with it. So uh, let's have a look at how I did that. There's uh, one of these little feeler things that I pulled out of one of there, the longer one, and then I soldered it. To this copper tape and then I used capped on tape to capture the um, copper so that it's got some structural integrity and uh, insulation and then made the little carriage out of some spare plastic that was lying around and just melted it up into a form that wraps around with a low ring to hold it on the bottom so that can slide up and down and change the value of the inductor as we see in uh, the description of variable inductor with wiper. Anyway, uh, Ed seems to think that um, I'm not going to have much success there. And you uh, can see what you're saying with it jumping high voltage. But um, there it is. If I'd have heard your comment yesterday, I probably wouldn't have made it. And uh, so maybe it's a good thing I did make it because uh, you know we learn by mistake <laughs> anyway I was happy with that that's more of a mechanical capture guys if you're looking at this here this nichrome wire hates solder so I just sort of had to pull it up until it was thick enough to make a solid bubble to capture it um, when I measure these uh, let's give you some measurements to show you what we got being nichrome, it's fairly resistive, and I thought maybe that'd be a good thing to uh, limit current. Anyway, what do we got? It takes a while to settle in and find its measurement. Yep. Let's put that there, and I can uh, use two hands. Okay, so this is the one without the wiper. And this is the one with the wiper, and let's set the wiper full beams all the way. The maximum I 
Okay, so nearly 13 on maximum. So that will afford me some adjustability anyway. So there it is. Uh, resonant charging choke. Uh, what else can I tell you? That's um, uh, bound with um, fishing braid. Zip ties were used to hold it together before I braided and super glued. Um, it was a tedious kind of job winding it. I wound the springs first onto a steel rod and then removed them and then wound the um, wound the uh, what do you call it so here's an off cut and then I had the um, pieces of carbon fibre and as you can see it'll uncurl that way so I twisted the carbon fibre in that way and it ended up on there sort of loose and bunchy in different spots and then I thought well I'll need some uh, even spacing otherwise the um, the variable inductor won't work very uniformely when the feeler gauge uh, the uh, little wiper thing moves across so that's when I pulled out the old fishing line trick which I've done before on uh, winding a Tesla coil actually but yeah there's a few imperfections but um, not bad for what it is Anyway, thanks for watching.